Alright, uh, having a bit of, of a crazy weekend. I haven't been uh, on YouTube too much, but uh, I saw your top five, uh, Thomas, so uh, I'll, I'll get it on. It was uh, top five episode 12, I think. Top five vampire movies. Okay, out of all the horror genres, I'll be honest, this is at the bottom. Like the subgenres. And in my mind, these are the genres, the subgenres of horror. I don't care what anybody else says about other crazy ass genres. This is it. Uh, my, oh, now I'll list off my genres too. My number one top is uh, zombies. Number two is slasher. Number four is creature features. Number five is psychological mindfuck movies. Uh, number six is demonic possession. Uh, seven, supernatural, hauntings, ghosts, all in one category. And number eight is the vampires at the bottom for me. And that is, by the way, to me, the, the subgenres of horror. I don't know if anybody... Uh, that's what I think. Or, there's eight of them. After that, I don't... And you can't say Asian horror if somebody's going to say that. Because Asian horror is a part of all of these genres. They, ha they don't, in Asia, they're not going to say that it's Asian horror. It's horror to them. So the, whatever their movies are, whatever subgenre they are, they're going to categorize them in these eight categories. So it's not Asian horror to them. It's to us because we're not in Asia. I uh, just had to clarify that that's one that people argue about that is a subgenre. It's not. To Asian people, it's horror still to them. It's all horror. They're not going to categorize which countries like we do in North America. Well, people, some people do in North America. I don't. But anyway, going off on something completely different anyways because you're doing uh, an actual subgenre of uh, horror. Um, I'll probably get some, uh, maybe some scenes up on, scenes or posters up, you'll, you'll, See, but number five for me is The Hunger. Yeah, The Hunger is one of my one of the better vampire movies for me. Uh, it's a lot. It's like a lot of crazy, like sexual stuff in it too, though. But uh, all in all, it's about vampires. And uh, yeah, number four, one of the more entertaining horror movies ever, The Lost Boys. And by more entertaining, I mean like, like The Hunger's entertaining, but it's in completely different. It's more like a fun horror movie, The Lost Boys. That's how I see it. It's not like a, uh, you probably know what I meant from that, anyways. But number three, uh, from Dust Till Dawn. Yeah, this is one of the the crazier movies that. Uh, People that don't like horror movies, well, th that they're not horror movie freaks. Uh, actually, like the first part better than the, the second part because all of a sudden it goes all crazy horror. But for me, the whole movie is unbelievable. I like that original story and then all of a sudden it went fucking crazy. That's to me, I like that. In the bar, it just went out of control. Like, a lot of people said they should have continued the story because it was pretty good, like Tarantino Rodriguez. Um, but, man, did it kick ass, I, I don't know, I thought it kicked ass, Savini in it, uh, playing a vampire and everything, it turned into, like, some devil hound, anyway, so I'm going off on that one, 
Number two, 1931, Dracula. Yeah, that's the bad boy of, uh, like, uh, that's an unbelievable, like, vampires. I'm not, um, as I said, I'm not a huge on vampire movies, but classics are classics. Come on. And number one, Fright Night from 1985. I've heard a lot of bad things about the remake. And um, I'll probably wait till DVD for it to come out. Uh, it's got. I, it was one that I wasn't really gonna go see, anyways. The Thing prequel is one I've, I've been waiting for. Uh, I haven't been to the movie theater in so long. Just uh, so busy, and whenever I get a chance to go see a movie in the theater, all of a sudden it switches into something else called the chaos of my life, anyways. But uh, all these movies, are, uh, there's a lot of horror movies out right now. And uh, um, Fright Night Remake is not one of them I want to see. It's not one of them, I said. Um, because, of, well, it's been out for a while now, and I try to avoid reviews. I'm that guy. I don't like seeing reviews before I go see a movie. I will n I've never, ever seen a review. I've, I've watched them after. Some after. I in my fucking life, though, I've never ever seen a horror movie review before I've seen a movie. A any, for any movie, actually, not just the horror genre. But, uh, that's it. That's my top five list. There you go, bud. And my Seahawks still suck. I love it. Fire the coach. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, catch you next time. Yeah, that's it for the weekend, by the way. Have a good week. I might see you guys during the week.